In this video, I'm going to solve the non-homogeneous second order ODE y prime prime minus y prime minus 6y is equal to 4x squared. So given that equation, to solve it, uh, I'll first solve the corresponding homogeneous ODE. For the corresponding homogeneous ODE, we'll be having that part there will be zero. So the corresponding homogeneous ODE will be y prime prime minus y prime minus 6y is equal to zero. And the solution that we get when we solve this corresponding homogeneous ODE is what we'll call the complementary solution. So to find the complementary solution, we note that uh, this equation here is a second order ODE with constant coefficients. It is of the form a2 y prime prime plus a1 y prime plus a0 multiplied by y is equal to zero. And the auxiliary equation for equations which are of this form is a2 multiplied by m squared plus a1 multiplied by m plus a0 is equal to zero. So by comparing uh, these two equations, uh, this one here and this one, we can get the values of the a0, a1 and the a2. For the a2 there, we'll be comparing the coefficients of uh, the y prime prime. For a1, the coefficients of uh, y prime. And for the a0, we'll be comparing the coefficients of y. So by comparing the coefficients of y prime prime, y prime of those two equations, we have that a2 is equal to 1, a1 is equal to minus 1, and a0 is equal to minus 6. So we now have uh, those constants there. We now need to get the auxiliary equation. For the auxiliary equation, we put these values here, we substitute them here, so that we get our auxiliary equation is m squared minus m minus 6 is equal to 0. And the roots of the auxiliary equation determine the nature of the solution that we get. So we now go on to finding the roots of uh, this equation here. Try to factorize it. Try to find numbers which when you multiply them, they give us a minus 6. When we add them, they give us a minus 1. And those numbers are minus 3 and 2. So our equation becomes m minus 3 multiplied by m plus 2 is equal to 0. And then we solve for m. We have m1 is equal to 3. m2 is equal to minus 2. So we have uh, the roots there. And what we see is uh, the roots that we are getting there, they are real distinct roots. When we have real distinct roots, the solution is c1 multiplied by exponent of m1x plus c2 multiplied by exponent of m2x. So in this case, we substitute these values of the m1 and the m2 here, so that we have our complementary solution is c1 exponent of 3x plus c2 exponent of minus 3x. So what we are having here, and this is uh, the solution to of this ODE here, which we are saying is the complementary solution to this non-homogeneous ODE. So we have found uh, the complementary solution. What we now want to find is uh, the particular solution. To find the particular solution, we are going to use the method of undetermined coefficients. So for this method, we look at uh, the right-hand side there, this one, the 4x squared, and uh, its form will determine the particular solution. So we know that if we have a g of x, the particular solution will be as uh, shown in the table there as the yp. So in this case, we are having our g of x, what's on the right hand side there, that's a 4x squared. So that's our g of x. So what we see there is our g of x is an nth degree polynomial. This degree there is a 2, it's so raised to power 2, so we have n is equal to 2. And when we have an nth degree polynomial, of the particular solution is of this form here a n x to the power n plus a n minus 1 times x to the power n minus 1 and decreasing until you go up to a naught but in this case we are saying our n is equal to 2 so we'll be having a2 so our particular solution will be a2 multiplied by x squared plus a1 multiplied by x plus a naught so that's the particular solution there the next step now is to find uh, the values of uh, these constants here, on the a2, on the a1, and the a0. To find uh, those uh, constants, I will label this equation number one, and then label this equation number two. What we need to do is we need to substitute equation number two 
into equation number one. But in equation number one, we are having y prime prime and the y prime. So we need to obtain y prime from equation two, then go on and obtain y prime prime. So the first step is a differentiate equation two with respect to x so that we obtain y prime. So when you differentiate equation two with respect to x on the left hand side, we have y prime. Then on the right hand side, we have a two multiplied by x plus uh, the constant a one. I will now go on and label this equation, equation number three. We now want to find the y prime prime. Y prime prime, we differentiate equation three with respect to x. So differentiating equation three with respect to x, on the left hand side, we have y prime prime. On the right hand side, we remain with 2a2. So we have y prime prime is equals to 2a2 for this equation, equation number four. We now go on and substitute equation number two, equation number three, equation number four into equation number one. So when we substitute that into equation number one there, what we would get there is the y prime prime is a 2a2, then minus the y prime, 2a2 multiplied by x plus a1, minus six times the y, which is a2 times x squared plus a1 times x plus a naught is equals to four x squared. So we now have that equation here. I will now go on and uh, multiply this part here by the minus sign, then multiply this part here by the minus six, so that we obtain 2a2 minus 2a2 multiplied by x minus a1 minus 6a2 multiplied by x squared minus 6a1 multiplied by x minus 6 times a0 is equals to 4x squared. I can now go on and combine terms that have x squared, put them on their own, terms which have x squared on the left hand side, terms which have the x, put them on their own, then the constants I put them on their own. So we would have minus 6a2 multiplied by x squared minus 2 times a2 plus 6a1 times x plus 2a2 minus a1 minus 6a0 is equals to 4x squared. So I just put terms x squared, then x, then the constants. The next step now is to find those values of the a0, a1, and a2. We can get the first value there by comparing the coefficients of x squared on the left hand side and those on the right hand side. On the left hand side we are having, for the x squared there we are having minus 6a2 multiplied by x squared. On the right hand side we are having 4x squared. So by comparing the coefficients of x squared there we see that minus 6a2 is equals to 4. We can then solve for a2, we divide throughout by minus 6 and we have a our a2 there will be minus 4 over 6. So we have our a2 there. We now go on and uh, compare coefficients of x on the left hand side and on the right hand side. Coefficients of x, we are having this part here, which is being multiplied by a negative sign, 2a2 plus 6a1. Then uh, on the right hand side, we don't have any x, so it will be equals to 0. So what we would have there is minus 2a2 plus 6a1 is equals to 0. So that's the equation that we are having there. But we have our a2 there is minus 4 over 6. So substitute uh, this a2 here. And what we have there is uh, 8 over 6 minus 6a1 is equals to 0. We can then go on and solve for a1. And what we we'll obtain there is a1 is equals to 2 over 9. We can then go on and uh, compare the constants on the left hand side and those on the right hand side. So the constants on the left hand side there, they are 2a2 minus a1 minus 6a0. On the right hand side, we don't have any constants, so that would be equals to 0. So we have 2a2 minus a1 minus 6a0 is equals to 0. But we have the values of, uh, of the a2. We have the a2 here, minus 4 over 6. Of the a1 is 2 over 9. So substitute the values of the a2 here. The value of a1, put it here. And what we would get there would then have uh, our a0 will give us minus 7 and divided by 27. So we now have the values of uh, the a2, the a1, and the a0. We go on and substitute these values of uh, a0, a1, and a2 
into equation number two here. And we would obtain that our particular solution is minus four over six x squared plus two over nine x minus seven over twenty seven. So that's our particular solution that we have obtained there. After obtaining the particular solution, we now go on and find the general solution of this equation, equation number one. The general solution is given by the complementary solution plus the particular solution. What you are having there, the complementary solution is this one here. The particular solution is this one here. So we add those two, we get the general solution. So we have the general solution there is C1 exponent of 3x plus C2 exponent of minus 2x minus 4 over 6 multiplied by x squared plus 2 over 9 multiplied by x minus 27. So this one here, that's a, the general solution of this non-homogeneous ODE.